sit down. I mean, we're all friends here, right? <laughs> First of all, thank you to our host committee and especially to Chris and Amanda for putting this amazing event together. Together, What an awesome turnout. And so many relatively young new faces who care about being involved in our city and care about the future of Austin. When I thought about why I wanted to run for Austin City Council, I was really motivated by one question. And that question is, what is the city of Austin gonna look like in 10 years? Is it gonna be a city for families where we can afford to raise kids and have great schools to send them to? Uh, is it gonna be a city for innovation where small business owners can create jobs in our local community without the red tape and regulations from our, the city level? Uh, is it going to be a place where we can get around town without pulling our hair out because of endless traffic? Or is it going to be the same city that we live in today with the same problems, only complicated by another 10 years of growth? Every year in Austin, our cost of living is increasing and our quality of life is not improving. Even in a time of record revenues, the city is constantly coming to taxpayers for more money in the form of uh, tax increase, property tax increases, water utility increases, uh, you, electric rate increases, and endless bond proposals. We just simply can't sustain it. The average homeowner in Austin with a $200,000 house is looking at upwards of $300 increase in their property taxes this year alone um, if the rail bonds pass in addition to the increase in uh, the property tax rates that we've seen this year, I, can't, I, I don't know if I can afford that. I know that y'all can't afford it. Um, I know I can't afford it year after year after year after year. Um, meanwhile, we're doing things like spending an extra, an, an, over $30 million over budget on our downtown library. Um, we're doing things like telling private companies that they have to pay an artist from Vermont $1.2 million for a public art installation at a rental car facility at the airport. Um, we're telling private business owners what kind of signs they can they have to put outside of their bathrooms. Um, and we're even doing things like regulating what kind of flowers you can put at a grave site. These are, this is just a few examples of the kinds of things that Austin is getting itself into. Meanwhile, the rest of us are struggling with traffic struggling with the cost of living and um, just trying to make a living, raise our kids and um, live in the real world. Not only do I hope to bring a strong voice of a taxpayer advocate and advocate for responsible spending at the city level, which is something that we absolutely do not have right now, but we also need significant reform when it comes to our processes. And let me tell you all a story that really reinforced my decision to run for city council. Just a couple of weeks ago, our city council uh, considered a very controversial measure that had to do with aggressive renewable energy goals. Um, Austin Energy has warned that adopting this proposal will cause our rates to skyrocket. That's in addition to the proposed rate increase that we're already looking at. Um, our, it was getting late and the city council said that they were expecting about 10 hours of testimony on this controversial topic. And they said, sent everybody home, said, hey, we're gonna take it up tomorrow. Um, Y'all come back in the morning and we'll, we'll take it from there. Less than five minutes later, after everybody left the room, they passed the measure unanimously. That's unacceptable and it's our fault for letting them get away with it. You know, we should be holding them accountable and we're not. Um, I think if you look at every level of government, anytime we have an election, you know, we only get to elect maybe a handful of new people. Normally it's just mainly incumbents and our ability to significantly change the way business is done is, is limited. But in Austin, come January, at least nine of the 10 city council members are going to be brand new. Uh, it is so critical that we get people on city council who are liberty minded, who are going to advocate for responsible spending, who are just gonna bring basic common sense to our city. Um, so thank you for being engaged. Thank you for being informed. I'm not a politician. I've never run for office. I'm just simply someone who got fed up <laughs> uh, with our
our city, and I want to, I want, I do want to be able to live here in 10 years, and I hope that y'all will all stay here with me because we're going to make a better future for our city. So thank you very much for being here. I appreciate your support. I look forward to talking to those who I haven't had a chance to meet with yet and hearing about the issues that are affecting you and your families. Um, and let's, let's do this.